Hi, my name is John Krochka, and I am going to talk about my capstone process. So starting off, we're going to talk about the identify step. That is where you identify the problems in your community. And so when I started off, I had three sample problems that I had to brainstorm, and those were uh, one, STEM High School Robotics Club needs ways of more efficiently fundraising. And then there was the second one, which was the STEM Robotics Club needs to ways to recruit members. And then there was the third one, which had to deal with the active public libraries and getting students to want to read at the library. And so then, as I was thinking about which one of the problems I actually really wanted to solve, my friend Isaac Kirsch, he suggested to me that if I solved the first, the second problem with the member, lack of members in the robotics club, I can solve the first problem with fundraising because more members means more people will fundraise for you. And so, and also, the robotics club is losing a fourth of its members due to graduation this year, so I really want to fill in the ranks with a new generation of robotics students, so I picked the second one to be the problem I will be solving in this capstone process. My capstone identified statement is that the STEM Robotics Club needs fun and creative ways to advertise the club to learners. Moving forward, the next step is the investigate step, and that is where we do our research in the capstone process. And so we had to find three places to get our information. And so the three places I chose to look for information from was Coach Appleby, students that are unaffiliated with the Robotics Club, and the internet. For our Coach Appleby is that he knows about the club's history probably more than anyone, uh, and knows about their former methods of trying to attract more members of the club, unaffiliated students. They obviously are the people I'm trying to target with this pro with uh, my solution to this problem, so, or what will be my solution to this problem. So I need to know what they want in trying to make them come over to join our robotics club. And then the internet probably has tons of thousands of ideas of advertising to other people. <clears throat> anyway, After going to everyone and uh, asking them questions uh, from Coach Appleby, I learned that the club really doesn't have a good way to advertise itself due to the fact that really most clubs, their methods of getting the word out about themselves is either flyers that people don't pay attention to in the hallway or morning meeting, which also people don't pay attention to and are more interested in just you know, either sleeping in it or making noise that isn't related to the morning meeting itself. Um, then from the unaffiliated students, I learned that most of them just don't really get the word about robotics. Some students I asked didn't even uh, know we have a robotics club. And some students were just too bored or just didn't care enough to join the club. It happens. And then from the internet, I looked up a bunch of ways to, you know, get the word out about our club. And through all this research, I culminated, culminated in a few root causes for the problem at hand. And that is, the root cause is that the club either doesn't have a way to effectively advertise itself, or doesn't have a way to advertise itself interestingly. interestingly. And so the root cause that I'm homing in on to tackle in this capstone is that doesn't have a, a way to advertise itself interestingly. <laughs> Moving on to the interpret step. That is where we interpret the results of our investigate step. And through the investigate step, 
I learned, became cognizant of the problems of trying to advertise a club out to the public because we don't have a really good way of spreading the word about clubs or anything like that. Most importantly, the robotics club, because that's what we're facing, we're focusing on in this video. Anyway, so that lead me, led me to tweak my statement that I made at the beginning of the video, which was the STEM robotics club needs fun and creative ways to get the word out about himself, to the STEM robotics club needs fun and creative ways to get the word out about themselves, because I learned that it does not have a way to effectively advertise itself to others. And so I had to come up with four principles to judge the ideas I would create in the next step by. And so the four principles are fun, inspiring, relevant to the club, and creative. Because one, it has to be fun so people will actually want to join because they're having fun. Two, it has to be inspiring. Once again, it's a good way to make people join the club if they're inspired about something. Relevant to the club, this one's obvious because if it's not relevant, people are just going to join the club and that's going to be nothing compared to what I advertised out there. And then creative because if we just do something, we pull off the internet or we pull from somewhere else, it's just, it's not, it's not what I set out to do. All right, that's, we're now on to the ideate step. And this is where you do all the brainstorming for your ideas and stuff for how to solve the problem. We had to come up with five possible solutions to our problems and mine were to a, uh, create a new game and invite some people over to play it. It would be brand new, fresh, and uh, nothing that Vex has done. Made for a more simpler, new to Vex audience. Uh, then the second idea was to take another game that we had done before, which was called Rocket League, and basically host that again, and but this time invite middle school students to, you know, come in and do it. The third idea was to invite middle school students to come to an event that we were going to, so they would come on the bus with us and watch one of our competitions. Uh, my fourth idea was to host an event, a uh, like competition here, so that middle schoolers could watch and get a feel for the whole competition thing. And then my final idea was to invite the middle schoolers to come to one of our build party nights where we just build and have fun and stuff. So with all these ideas, I put them into a decision matrix and I put them up against my four principles I brainstormed in the uh, implement the uh, previous step, and then I decide I decided which one was the best. I also got feedback from reviewers in my capstone class by via poll, and through all this, I came up. I chose to pick the one where I come up with the whole new game and then invite middle school students and anyone else to come and play it. So that is the idea. The next step in the capstone process is the implement step and that is how I go about solving my problem, which is I am making this game, all right? Have, a, have to have a fresh new design for the game, can't be something that Vex does, it has to be tuned down because I'm trying to make this more simplistic so that people can get into it, but have enough of the intricacies of Vex so that you know they get a good feel for it. And another part of this is I have to make this, it can't just be the event, it has to be a kit so that this event can be held in years to come. So I made a kit, which is a Google Drive folder with all the necessary components to have this game in the future so that when I leave, people can still be holding this event and we can still be ranking in those members, all right? And so along the way, I got a lot of feedback and so the feedback kind of shaped the game. 
as I asked them, I asked Robotics Club members what would be a fun kind of game to have. And so through polls and uh, surveys and stuff, I got feedback that people wanted something kind of like uh, Hungry Hungry Hippos, and so that's kind of what I designed. The feedback is what shaped the game, and uh, also some other things, like what goes in the toolkit. I got feedback that they'd want to have a referee app because it's kind of the thing at actual VEX tournaments where they'll have apps on their phone that they can use to score the game easy. So that is a thing that I would put into the kit. And so my final solution is this kit that is a Google Drive folder and it has everything necessary. And in it I have a game manual, I have a sample agenda for the whole day, I have a poster for advertising purposes. And also I have stuff like the referee app. I have a sign up sheet. So if you want to go spread it at uh, middle school, you can post those around and they can put all the information in there that they need to put in there. I also have a presentation so that if you're presenting to people and you're trying to get their interest to come to this event, you have a presentation that's ready for you to just put out there. So that is the internet step. So the final step in this capstone process is the informed step, and that's how I got the word out about this process to other people. So how I informed people was I basically went to my reviewers, got feedback and such, and I also went to the middle school to talk about the event to them, to inform them of what was going on. And through all this, I think that this is gonna be a very impactful solution to the problem that I'm tackling, because when I talk to most people in the robotics club that are already in there, most of them will say that the most, the part that made them fall in love with the robotics club was actually going to competitions. So if I set up an actual sample competition, hopefully the same kind of love will be captured there. And that's really what I was aiming for here. To improve upon it, if I were to do a version two or a next time, or if anyone else wanted to pick up where I left off, I would suggest that I could go expand the reach of who I was talking to. Currently, I only targeted my message at STEM middle school students, but I could, in fact, go and see if maybe other middle schoolers from around the Akron Public Schools would want to come and do this event as well because STEM middle school isn't the only middle school that filters kids into the high school. I could also talk about, talk to this with students who aren't already in the robotics club, try to capture some of the freshmen, juniors, sophomores that aren't in the club, get their interest. Another concern is that my idea right now only applies to the drivers. There are tons of roles that you can have in robotics. You have your coders, your builders, your social butterflies. There are a variety of roles and I've really only honed in on the driving aspect of it. So if I could think of a way to improve this project it would be to have student find a way to target those other groups of people, the coders and the builders and such. And then my biggest takeaway from this whole experience is that is how challenging it is to one, make an event for a school. You have a bunch of stuff that goes into it and a bunch of paperwork <laughs> too. And then two, how challenging it is to get the word out about a certain club. There are a lot of things that can be proved upon, you know, morning meeting there are people that don't really pay attention so it's hard to get the message out there uh, flyers can be easily glanced by even if you have a display as big as this people sometimes don't take notice and so those are some of my big takeaways from this whole experience anyway I'd like to thank you all for tuning into my capstone video and I will be now taking questions